What is up guys, welcome back to my Chanel. It is currently 7 in the morning, very cool, warm, breezy morning, sunny too, I love it. I know I've been doing uh, a lot of, like I said, like commentary or reactions, but I have a, I have a second Chanel that I do post vlogs. So for those who say, oh my god, Ben, can you post more vlogs, go to my second Chanel, because I post vlogs there. I'm gonna try to post like once a week there. So if you guys want, go sub. If you guys want, no one's forcing you. Also, please subscribe, uh, also please subscribe to this Chanel. I noticed that more than 60, 50% of y'all haven't subscribed to my channel, so hit it. Follow me on my Instagram. We got Mark Tuan reading thirst tweets. God damn. Mark goddamn Tuan. Like I always do, I'm gonna rate these thirst tweets to see how good they are, right? If I'm impressed, if uh, Mark Tuan is impressed, but let's get it. What's up guys, this is Mark. I'm here with BuzzFeed and we're gonna read some thirst tweets. <sighs> I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Bro, Mark Tuan is so cute, man. His smile is gorgeous. When Mark smiles, it's like you can see his, it's lively and just very, very infectious. It makes people around him happy. It's very attractive, dude. Guys with cute smiles. Oh, yes. Mark Twan has abs. I am weak. Um, goodbye. Okay, I don't have abs. I feel like they only show sometimes in certain pictures. That's not, that's not too bad. Bro, Mark Twan's smile. I'm sorry, guys. Mark Twan's smile? He's so cute. Literally, he's, he's so cute. Sweaty Mark Twan really hit my ovaries differently. <laughs> I don't get that sweaty on stage unless I'm wearing like super thick jackets. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Thank you, or that's supposed to be a compliment, right? I'm kind of scared to open all these, okay. Wait, Mark, come on, man. <laughs> Wait, why are you tripping, man? It says, what did it say? Sweaty Mark Twan really hit uh, my ovaries differently. That was, I like that. Sweaty Mark, it means that, oh, when Mark Twan is sweaty, like, okay, oh my God, that like, you know, it makes my uh, throb, my cat throb. Like it, hits, it hits my ovaries, right? I don't know a whole lot about like Mark Twan. I know he's from God 7, but I don't know a lot about him, but he seems like a shy guy. I like this tweet, eight out of 10. I like this. There's something about guys when they're sweaty. It's very attractive. Girls love it. I love it too. Mark Twan, if you lick your lips one more time, sir, I will be forced to marry you. That's kind of a bad habit of mine, licking my lips. I've been more conscious about it, like trying not to do it. I don't know if I'm gonna lick my lips during this video, but if I do, I guess you'll be forced to marry me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I think I just licked my lips, but I'm sorry. Mark Twan's answers are very, uh, very wholesome, man. I like that tweet. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I like that. Mark Twan's, uh, his responses are very... He has, like, a vibe of he grew up with, like, older sisters. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if you guys feel that, but he has a vibe of, oh, I have, I had older sisters, so... Very, like, nice guy. I actually love it. I actually love it. Very wholesome, dude. His answers are kind of like Eric Nam's, like, very factual. Just, like, stating facts, being reasonable, right? You know how people will drink a whole soda can and then put it on the ground and stomp it? That's what I want Mark Twan to do to me. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do that. I used to stop on so we can't. I wouldn't want to do that to you. Um, I don't want to break anything. Yeah, I think we won't we won't do any stomping on anybody. That tweet was a solid 4 out of 10. I, the, the whole like, oh, step on me, stomp on me, that's kind of basic. Heard that multiple times, but Eric, I mean, well, not Eric. Mark, your answers are very, you're too nice. It's kind of like, you're like the younger version of Eric Nam. Does that make sense? Eric Nam is very like factual and just too realistic with his answers, but Mark Twan's kind of like that, but like a younger version of Eric Nam. He's nice. I love it. Very wholesome, dude. But come on, man, Mark Twan. Show me your, show me your naughty side. We all got that. Ignite that, Mark Twan. I'm willing to train my soul in exchange to Mark Twan's sweaty towel. Please let me have it. I do throw my towels um, at the crowd, at the concerts, so maybe one day. <laughs> I don't know why you guys would want that. I mean, wouldn't it? It's stink. I don't know why you guys would want that. I mean, wouldn't it? It's stink. I wouldn't want anybody's sweaty towel. Would everyone want? Mark, if you threw, if I went to your car, if I went to your concert, right, and you threw your goddamn what sweaty ass towel, and I catch it, I'm gonna preserve that. What I'm gonna do, Mark Twan, with your sweaty ass towel, I'm gonna keep it in a little container, preserve it, and whenever I'm feeling unmotivated, sad, or kind of off, I'm gonna open the jar, smell your sweat, close it, because I don't want the smell going out, close it, and use your sweat smell as a motivation to survive strife, okay? Your sweat will turn me on, dude. That's what, of course, Mark Twan, if you sell your, your your towel that's full of your sweat. If you sell your towel that has your sweat on it on eBay, I promise you the K-pop stands will buy it for like what? Almost like I see like realistically 10 grand, 10 grand, maybe max like 30 grand. Literally, Mark, come on, man. If you bro, if you if you sell like you know your saliva or you put in a jar of your saliva, you sell that shit, people are gonna buy that shit. hundred k I promise you. Mark Twan thigh tattoo. Excuse me while I go. Feral? What does it mean to go feral? I just like the placement. I don't know if that triggers anybody like to go feral, but <laughs> I guess everybody has their own preference, right? I don't. What? What's uh? I didn't know Mark Twain had a tattoo on his leg. Oh, he he's got 
multiple tattoos. Oh, it's nice. I mean, guys with tattoos, we can all agree, right? It will make everyone go wild. Martuan, I'm not gonna say nothing because I don't want this fuck. Because I don't want you to do a demonetized video, but guys with tattoo Martuan, it's it's hard. Pretending to read, but it's actually thinking about Martuan's pink pepperoni nipples. <laughs> Wait, Martin has a, a pink nipples. Is he one of those guys who has like pink, pink nipples? I'm not trying to be a creep, but I gotta check it out, man. Mark Twan, I apologize, Mark Twan. Uh, shirtless. <laughs> it's not that pink. It's, it looks like an average normal nipples. <laughs> Whoa, okay. I don't show my nipples that often. There are some pictures out there. <laughs> Pepperoni nipples. Mm. These get worse, right? Yes, I'm saying I would lick Mark Twan's sweaty pits. And what about it? Some of you guys are pretty... Pretty wild. Licking any and licking anybody's sweaty pits. Um Mark man, I feel like these tweets are just not that thirsty. They're very like average, soft, kinda like PG13 tweets. Come on man, step it up guys. Buzzfeed, step it up. I'm not I'm not phased by these tweets. And Mark, if you think these tweets are like you know wild, then, then you're either just like really innocent, soft, and wholesome, or you're just faking it because these tweets come on, we can all agree that these tweets are very like mild. They're not that like ooh, right? Um I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> okay. Mark Twan who? His nipple is my new bias. Why are you guys so obsessed with nipples? The makeup artist and hairstylist is laughing right now. <laughs> Sexualizing the members and tweeting thirst tweets and all need to stop. Like imagine one of the boys seeing them. It would be so embarrassing. Okay. Now that they stopped reading, Mark Twan eat me like a zombie. You're crazy. <laughs> Bro, I'm not I'm not impressed. What? Buzzfeed, step it up. It says thirst tweets. Step it up. The video is about Mark reading thirst tweets. I'm not what is this? What is this? How many Hey Zaddies DMs will it take for Mark Twan to answer me? I don't know how many you sent, but you made it here. Yeah. <laughs> Mark Twan, come here. Let me eat your ass. <laughs> I think that might have been the worst one right now. That's not sanitary, guys. <laughs> I mean, dude, I'm not gonna lie. These are not that good of a tweet. I'm not gonna lie. Like, eat my ass is fairly like. I like to eat my ass one just now. Like, that was good. But oh man, I'm not. I'm not impressed. Mark Twan, best pussy. I never understood what this word meant. <laughs> it means eat your eat my pussy. <laughs> okay, that's what it is. Um, thank you. Is Mark Twan actually nice as he seem on like social media? I feel like he's a bad boy. He gives me a bad. If you have earrings on your uh is this your earlobe what is this mark Twain has an earring over here right if you have that you, you look like a bad boy and you may be a bad boy so i don't know if you're like faking you know putting on a character of oh i'm innocent wholesome and nice on buzzfeed because it seems like not gonna lie not gonna lie i'm gonna be honest okay you, you look you look like the type to like go to raves parties and f multiple multiple girls so i don't know mark is like a facade thing i want mark Twain to sit on my face and choke me with his thighs my man looked so good i feel like my thighs are pretty skinny. Unlike Jackson and JB, they got like muscle thighs. She said I look good, so thank you. His answers are very kind of bland, not gonna lie. You're just a very nice guy. Mark Twan, the type to be dominant but submissive on special occasions like your birthday. This isn't that bad, is it? I don't know if I'm dominant. I don't give off that kind of yeah. vibe. Yeah. Do I? I don't know if I'm dominant. I don't give off that kind of vibe, do I? Only sometimes when I get angry, I guess. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Mark Twan from the outside, if, you, if I don't hear him talk or like uh, watch his videos, he looks like a very, he looks like a bad boy though, but from the way he like talks and like presents himself on social media, he doesn't look like a bad boy. But but like you said, when he gets angry, he, he becomes more dominant. So that's hot because when submissive guys are all nice and soft and then boom, they become, you know, dominant and like angry and bad boy. That's hot because it goes, wow, Mark, I didn't know you had that in you. My pussy's throbbing now, Mark. I don't give off that kind of vibe, do I? Only sometimes when I get angry, I guess. That was hot. Daddy, Mark Twan, sir. I'm just the whole. And what do you mean by that? What do you- You know exactly <laughs> what that means. <laughs> Mark! This guy's playing an innocent uh, character, dude. I swear to God. These tweets, so far, I'm not I'm not impressed. I'm really not impressed, guys. These are very just big. I, I, maybe because I like heard them multiple times. I'm just not fate. I'm not phased by it anymore, but y'all gotta step it up. Mark Twan, the type to destroy your vagina in the most romantic way. Bye. I agree! <sighs> Mark Twan, the type to destroy your vagina in the most romantic way. Bye. <sighs> I agree with that. I, I do feel like Mark Twan has a vibe of, oh, he will literally destroy a girl's vajayjay in the most romantic uh, way. I, I see it. I actually see it because he seems like a very nice guy. But he also kind of has a vibe of, oh, like he's very like in bed. Like he's on the sheets. He's uh, like... 
He's wild. So I kind of agree with uh, this tweet. It's kind of hot. It's kind of cute, Mark. Not gonna lie. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Come on. Mark Tom, put your amazing arms around my neck and then choke me. I definitely wouldn't want to choke you. Maybe some other people would, but... <laughs> oh, not me. Mark Tonka spit on me and I'd say thank you. I'm not this type of person that you guys are imagining. Or, or I picturing. feel that. I mean, maybe if like on tour, you know, like accidentally I'm singing and, you know, some bit comes out, that's the only way, but I wouldn't spit on any of you guys. I kind of see it, man. I kind of see it. Like, I feel like uh, he just said that he's not the kind of person that we think he is, right? I'm not this type of person that you guys or imagining or picturing. I kind of see it, man. Maybe he's like a very innocent, nice guy, dude. He really is. And I see it and I feel it and I can sense it too, so. It's kind of cute, Mark. Not gonna lie, it's very cute. I like my shower as I like Mark Tuan. Relaxing hot and making me wet. I like that. Oh! I've been more conscious about it. <gasps> oh! Why was that so hot? Oh! That was hot. Mark, lick your lips more, man. That was very attractive. That was very, very... That was very attractive, Mark. Do it more often. Yo, let me, wa let me watch that again, dude. Licking my lips. Licking my lips. <laughs> that, was, that was hot. That was really hot, daddy. Can you... <laughs> that was very attractive. You're giving me butterflies in the morning, daddy. Licking my lips. Licking my lips. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine like having a conversation with him, like at a bottle or a pub, face to face, right? Like you're on a date with Mark Twan, right? And you're talking saying, oh yeah, so today my day was, you know, this and that. And he just goes... He, that look of him licking his lips is like, oh, I want to eat you right now. Like you look, you look delicious and I want to taste you. It was that look. That was very hot, Mark. Very hot. Daddy, whoa. Opa? Opa? <laughs> I'm not even going to answer. Mark Twan. Choke me, please. Exfociate me. Make sure there is no air going in or out of my lungs. Wrap your hands around my throat and squeeze me until I can't speak. <laughs> There's a lot of tweets asking to be choked. I wouldn't want any of you guys to have to risk your life or anything. So, Mark! Pass on these. I wouldn't want any of you guys to have to risk your life or anything. So, I'll pass on these. Mark! I will be more than happy to risk my life for you to choke me. Literally. Trust me, Mark. There are so many girls. There's so many girls out there that want to be choked and suffocated. If, and if they die, if they die, hey, at least they'll die happy. That's all that matters. But trust me, my multiple girls want to be uh, choked by you. I do not want children, but I do want raw sex with Mark Twan. <laughs> if he impregnates me and fertilizes my eggs, then too bad. <laughs> For him, I'd accept to be a mom. Safe sex, everybody. Safe sex. <laughs> wow, I, I, that was, I like that. Safe, safe, ah, safe, ah, right? Mark Twan's a very nice guy. I, I think I came to this conclusion of Mark Twan's a very, just, just wholesome, nice guy. Like, you want to be around him. Very nice guy, um, honest and genuine, dude. I love him. I love him more now, dude. I want to have sex with Mark Twan until the room stinks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's cute and his body. Muy bien. I want to use his as a facial moisture. Oh! I don't know if that's good for your skin. Muy bien for you. Really? I want to use his as a facial moisture. <laughs> I don't know if that's good for your skin. Muy bien for you, but I wouldn't want to use that as face moisturizer. Oh, no, you did not. You did not. You did not just, no. No, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Did I read that right? Uh-uh. Yo. Whoa, 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 you, you want to what? I'm sorry, what? I want to use his as a facial moisture. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know if that's good for your skin. We been for you, but I wouldn't want <laughs> to use that as face moisturizer. Bro, that, <laughs> y'all ballsy. That was the best tweet, 10 out of 10. That, that's what you call a thirst tweet, dude. <laughs> Bro, imagine using Mark Twan's, you know, kids as his face moisturizer. Mark Twan, I'm not, look, all I'm gonna say is Mark, if you do sell, <laughs> then calm down. If you do sell face moisturizers filled with your kids, I can promise you that you'll make more money than you ever did while being a K-pop star. I promise you. But on the downside to that, Mark, is that some of these, you know, toxic or just stupid ass K-pop stands are gonna use your, you know, moisturizers that has your kids in it. They'll put it up their VJJ and impregnate themselves and have kids. I'm not talking about myself, Mark. I'm not.
But that was good. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I love that one. Mark Twan's a very nice guy, dude. Mark Twan's a very wholesome, kind. He's a very. He's a, I thought he was like a bad boy, but I thought I genuinely thought Mark was like a kind of like a bad boy. But I don't know if this is like a like a little character that he's playing. But very nice of him. Like I kind of like I like him more now, dude. The tweets were not that great. Buzzfeed, oh, you gotta step it up, man. I know like YouTube sometimes demonetizes your video when it's like too extreme. But come on, Buzzfeed, man, step it up, man. These tweets are. I'm sure there's more like wild tweets, but y'all just can't post it because because of YouTube like guidelines, right? But step it up, Buzzfeed. Anyways, y'all, I love you guys from the heart of my fucking bottom. I'll see y'all soon. Peace. I can't let you go, baby.